glad that like they uh was they addressed the thing from last episode where the guy was like ranting off so it was just it was just him i mean a lot of the other 86 people still don't feel they don't like they don't feel that that um they, they were they didn't want to feel that harsh but they also like they weren't like on her side either but i'm glad they addressed it so like it's not too much of an issue like i made it last week but it's just basically it's just like the reconciliation between the two sides basically this whole episode so but i know yeah. i know ayush and other people said like uh the anime has been doing really well adapting the the light novel like almost almost perfectly like not leaving things out so i oh, guess nice. i can see i can see like like maybe some people feel like it might be like a little slower pace but I, i'm still enjoying the show but i do wish like we get more like i i, I think there's like past the first volume volume of light novel so i hope we get more into like more of the plot and more of like the lore i think i think i'm actually okay with it I was, uh, I think I I I can see how how some people are kind of getting tired of like the character like drama and like just arguing back and forth between yeah. two sides. Well, the, the the thing with our, the the character drama is one I don't feel like we know the characters that well yet. Um, also, Taylor, you're two for two for your favorite announcing your favorite characters and having them die the, the next episode or the episode. <laughs> oh, was that was that your favorite character? The one uh, that died. The, well, the, the, my favorite character from the first episode died the first episode, and then, yes, that girl then yeah. died in that episode, right? <laughs> and I was like, she's awesome. And then, like, 20 minutes later, she was dead. So I was like, great. So, okay. so Taylor is the, the grim reaper of this, of this series. guy with the short hair. I'm going to need you to he, stop. He gives all the death yeah. flags. Yeah, we're going to need you uh, to uh, I'm gonna need you to not stop. do that. <laughs> uh, I, I think the thing that I really like from this episode is that, you know, we get to learn the, like, moniker that the one uh, guy took his, like, call sign from mm-hmm. and how he was actually a um, non-86. He was one of the... God, I'm going to always forget. What is the name of the silver hair? Uh, Alba. Alba? Alba. Alba or so, something? Yeah. And so make sure I didn't misunderstand correctly, but those were Albas that decided to come to the battlefield and fight mm-hmm. with them, right? Mm-hmm. Apparently, so that's what yeah. I really enjoyed because, at least from what we had originally been introduced, I thought, like... Um, Lena was like the only exception. Yeah. It was like, oh, I want to stand up for more. Like everybody else was super just like, I don't give a fuck about, you know, anybody mm-hmm. else. Like I'm chilling in my Republic of Magnolia mm-hmm. having the great life. So um, I'm glad that we got to see that further insight. Um, mm-hmm. I liked the continued discussion with uh, Lena and her uncle and then her father. And we see, you know, at a young age, uh, Lena and her father went to one of these battlefields and Obviously, I assume that his father thought it wouldn't be as dangerous as it was, and that kind of led to his demise. Um, uh-huh. I think it would be fitting, too, that probably it was one of the 86 that killed him because they probably didn't know that he had a sentiment for the 86 as, you know, this high-standing uh, colonel or whatever rank he was when he, uh, when he died. Um, so that really drew me back in. And then the ending, I thought, was, was really great, where... Um, you have that moment between um, Lena and Undertaker where she says, oh, you know, I never got to know your name. And then they realize that relation where Lena knew uh, his brother or that brother figure. Uh, all right. So I'm excited to see how that all comes together. Yeah, I'm excited to see it all, too. I'm excited to see a little bit more plot going forward. But I was telling Sir, and I really like how they're handling basically like the topic of racism, really. Like, I feel like they're trying to handle it in a fairly nuanced way um like neither side is or especially like with the alba like they're even though the, even though they appreciate the fact that lena is like cares about them and is trying to reach out they're also still under, like they're explaining to her why the way that she's doing that doesn't really help them like they're kind of just helping her expand her mind a little bit and understand where they're coming from and i i'm not explaining it very well because it is kind of a nuanced subject but i like the fact that they're tackling it i think they're doing it pretty well i don't know do you guys have any thoughts on that yeah i, I mean no like I, it, I, I i felt I, like they went through it too fast like they they, they yeah. became too accepting you mm. know i don't think, I, I, uh, uh i don't know if it's too accepting it's just it's just like i think they they understand that like like you know it's like it's like this whole like structural problem with the society and she's not like someone that they can just that, that's why they're being harsh to the theo guy because like because he was trying to like put the blame all on her when they they everyone else knows it's not it's not her fault and it's, it's not like something that she can do herself but she uh-huh. was being naive and so mm-hmm. they're trying to take it a stance of like look we understand that you're trying to help us but there's also things that you don't know about mm-hmm. about like the positions that we're all in so like yeah. and so they're taking taking this, this stance of, like we don't 
like hit you personally, but that mm-hmm. like there's so much like long saying grievances that like that you can't also just mm-hmm. come in here and just expect mm-hmm. us to like treat you like for us to, f- to forgive you for it all. Right. So there's there's bad blood on on both sides at the end of right. the day, regardless yeah, of where they stand. But that's exactly my point, right? Like it basically like. They became, they became more trusting of her after one episode, and nothing really happened after the the death of their comrade, right? Yeah, and, you know, especially when it's a time of war, and she's the sixth commander, I believe, mm-hmm. um, that they've had. I would imagine th- she would be required to do a lot more to gain their trust. Mm-hmm. Okay, now I know your name. Like we we cool now. Like are we all buddies? Yeah. Like no, mm-hmm. that should be the case, right? Well, I'm kind like, of. I'm- I was hoping that it would like transcend to the point where she's like, okay, you know, I get it. Like me just talking to you every day is not gonna make us buddy buddy. Mm-hmm. I need to come out to the battlefield and lead the yeah. charge with you guys. That's yeah. kind of, that's kind of what well, I was expecting to well, see. I think it's gonna lead to that. Yeah, exactly. Right. And right. I think it's obviously like a false kind of sense of truce. Like I really think that you know, now that Shin knows that relation with the older brother, I feel like it's gonna be something that either Lena's father or somebody. Mm-hmm led the brother to his death and that's really going to cause another kind of like divide between maybe lena and Mm -hmm. shin or some other thing to your point of hopefully you know now just because they shared names you know it's like oh we're all gonna sit around our campfire and sing kumbaya (laughs) like that definitely doesn't seem you know the route that they're potentially going so i would at least hope for that that there's going to be that continued conflict i I think it is just because they they already mentioned too because because the one thing is she was, was mentioning like oh like what are your guys' names when the uh when i think theo was was the one that was basically you know bitching out about how you, you don't even know our names like right before that so i feel I, I feel like they think of it as uh it's just kind of a response to like how they reacted to her so it's not like she's like it's not something that she just all like you know thought out of the blue it was, it was mainly them who brought it up so and they, they even kind of mentioned it too like that it doesn't seem like they're going to just become buddy buddy just from that but you know it's like it's a start yeah yeah yeah. I think if anything, that one Annette character has become like the weakest character for me. Like I don't really care about that, those interactions. Oh, the friend. Well, yeah. Was it oh, the friend. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, the, leader I, 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 of no, the, the R&D. Sure, she like... Oh. Fucking yeah. wasting pudding. She's just the one that's still just like stuck in the, you know, Kool-Aid Lab. mindset of just like, hey, like, you know, they're not our problem. Like, we're living the good life. Take a bite out of this she, flan. She, she has like the... the I very, actually like, kind like, of feel like... I actually kind of feel like something bad happened to her. Like she is so forcefully in that opinion and so strongly True. trying to per- turn Lena away. Like I feel like something bad happened to her, and now uh, she's like, I don't, "That's uh, I, I could be wrong." Yeah, we just haven't seen enough of her. Yeah. I think she's she's very fair. cynical. Yeah. Like even if she like, mm-hmm. she probably I don't know, probably thinks like what well, even like like maybe she just thinks that she's Lena's, good... like very naive. Like she just doesn't want her to waste. Yeah, probably thinks wasting her time or whatever. Or she's a good counterpart for Lena, where Lena is very like naive, heroic, optimist, and then uh, to your point then, of Annette, yeah. where you know she is obviously more of a like reserved, pessimistic focus. But hopefully, to your like Taylor said, you know there is that reason for why she is that way. You know, hopefully she was burned badly in some way that led to that mentality well, and if it, if that's not the case if it's not something that happened to her i hope that it kind of goes to the point where like i don't know what is supposed to be the main point of this show but i kind of hope would hope to see it come to the point where as lena is trying to instigate like societal change um and eliminate some of this racism have more equality all those kind of things I think it'd be interesting if she ultimately ended up having to reject her friend because her friend just wasn't willing to compromise or to understand the other side because sometimes that's something that has to happen in real life like you can't just like look the other way just because somebody's your friend you know what i mean you have to yeah at the same time you're well, still yeah you could do you, well, well you could but like i mean then you're not really believing in what you're saying you're you, believing in because you're still what's the word when you're enabling you're still enabling their beliefs you know mm-hmm. what i mean do you guys think she's she's still uh she's more of the mindset about how like she's just one person and how she's not going to change anything do you think she just has like that t- that sort of feeling, or do you think she's actually like there's a deeper, deeper uh, meaning to her? Like, why she, she just blows everything say. off? I I don't. I'm not, I'm gonna think she's not not have the deeper meaning. I just think it's just part of just growing up in that society. Like even oh, if she okay, does okay. like think it's wrong, mm-hmm. I think like because even the uncle was mentioning too how like he was saying you know what what are our principles like freedom, equality, liberty, brotherhood, and he was saying yeah, well we don't have any of that. So what are you trying to do? 
and All that's right. a good point that you bring up because I was actually gonna question for you guys. Like, if it's not things coming to a head at some point between like Lena and Annette in terms of like the questioning of their kind of ideologies, I feel like something's gonna come up with Lena and her uncle. Because exactly to the, your kind of point, David, oh, yeah. like it seems like the uncle understands what's going on, but he's kind of taken a firm mm -hmm. resolve of like, hey, I'm, I'm, you know, Team Alba all the way, and I feel like that's gonna come to a a divide or a conflict at some point as lena becomes more and more involved in the world of 86. Dude, yeah. dude, what I if think... what if lena's father got mufasa right like what if it was okay, the uncle okay. that that killed like her father oh, oh, that'd be spicy. Ooh, that, that, that could be Move yeah, over the, Disney. The, true, the true father was always you know the top rank and the uncle was just like man this mofo i deserve to be king exactly that's like right said, he's know. too soft I, we think, need I could see that, and then core. Lena learns, like, the truth through, you know, either Shin in the 86, because maybe that was something, like, with Shin's brother, mm -hmm. he had some involvement as well that led to that demise. Ooh, mm -hmm. that, would be, that would be spicy. Mr. Prophet, yeah. let's hope, uh, hope <laughs> we got it here. Uh, in, uh, in chat, Darren actually brought up a thing where he thinks, uh, where he said it could actually be, like, a Romeo, Juliet, you who know, two, two societies who love each other, but like, kept them apart because of their different status or families. Yeah. Nah. Look at it as well. Oh, nah. you don't think so? Oh, okay. <laughs> it could, but yeah. Well, the one thing I will say is I hope Lena and Shin don't end up being together. I don't think. I feel like, like they could. Well, Taylor's us. thoughts. I feel uh, like they're not they gonna, they're not end. I feel so like it's such an obvious trope. Yeah, but I think it's gonna happen. Obvious. They got to go with the uh, obvious. Taylor, so, your thoughts? So lazy. Uh, my thought, I told Stratton that what I would want to happen from this season would oh, be Lord. for things to go in motion <laughs> um, and Lena to start focusing on starting some sort of a revolution or something along those lines. I'm not getting into like the political details of this. Okay. She starts doing things on her end and yeah. also becomes closer and builds trust with like Shin and the rest of the team and things like that. And eventually things would escalate where I was hoping that they would bring in the friend that the friend would start getting more active as well in helping Lena, like somehow she'd come around. And then by the end of the season, I was thinking, okay, Shin's got to die. Everybody else is die. <laughs> like died. Like it's going to end with him dying and Lena going out to basically like be with, be with that team and fight with them, like in his absence while like the friend still continued that back home or with within Alba territory. I'd yeah. rather have that than ended the, with him know, dying. <laughs> yeah. between the two of we'll them. We'll see. Yeah. I'm like, I don't want him to die. I, I like know. him, but, you know, I mean, I just feel like... <laughs> what, if she what if she's the one that dies? Like, let's say if somehow, like, earlier, you know, she, she moves up to the battlefield, armor. she dies. I think she has a plot I armor. Not. I can't, armor I can't see not. her dying. Mm. Mm. I'm just but, more wondering, like, how much of an impact is the Empire having all this? It seems like a lot of problems is with, is with the Republic of, of, that they're in. I don't know if, like... It just seems like the Empire is just, just a backdrop just to have war. I don't know if they're actually going to go more into detail about the Empire or if they're actually going to have characters from there we're going to know about or anything. So, Sir, we... You... Oh, go ahead. I was just going to say, when you have to use the term Empire, you know there's more shit. <laughs> I was you know just that's not it. I was just wondering, like, in terms of, like, the light novel and everything, like, is the light novel really long? Is it ongoing? Or... It's not going, definitely. Ongoing. It just, I think it yeah. just, it just okay. came out, like, so this, the first so this is a show came out, like, probably... Three, four years ago, I want to say. Yeah. Okay, so this is the show then that's most likely going to get like multiple seasons and everything. Like there's going to be a very we'll see. long <laughs> running. Yeah, we will see. Maybe. Because, yeah, I mean, they, you know, and I'm just curious because I didn't know how much source material there is to work with because then that kind of uh, brings the question of like, okay, you know, up. how many... Yep, same. How many issues or how many things are you trying to potentially tackle? Like Taylor said, you know, is it going to be the main focus of um working to eliminate these you know divides and racism that currently populates this world and you know unifying together to fight against this common evil and, and not having you know the the different kind of rankings and groupings or is it going to be you know this season might be the mystery of what happened to the dad and then the next season is going to be you know lena getting involved out in the battlefield or just all these things i just don't know like how much there is to work with if uh, th sense. there are nine light novels so far and it came out 2017 so holy shit no mm -hmm. okay <laughs> got a long ride then yep this yeah. is I the mean, bad that, thing i'm not against just... it it's just that now widens my mind of like there has to be so many other things that are going to come into the mix now mm -hmm. if you have that much material yeah mm -hmm. well sure not not always light novels sometimes they do 
Dragon, so hope, I don't think this one will, because people a lot of people praise it. So I'm uh, I'm gonna trust the readers on this. So sounds good. Oh, just curious, Taylor, who was your next favorite character? Oh, guys, short hair. <laughs> he was in the thumbnail for the last week. He's nice. And then after that, it's the blue haired girl. Okay, bluish black haired girl. It's to do with the spiky hair, like spiky blue hair, mm-hmm. and like very bright blue eyes. Mm-hmm. Okay, I will make sure not to follow them because they will probably die. <laughs> I do, I do like uh, the blue haired girl. Um, I think Anju. Oh, mm-hmm. well, you better, you better find a new waifu quick. Cause oh wait, no, Anju, Anju is the one with like the whiter hair, though, right? Is like, she white? The oh, she's, like, the longer, is like silver, purple hair. Yeah, or I like the one with like the black blue hair, a little bit shorter. I don't know okay, anybody's name yet. It's terrible. Then. We're oh. so bad. We're just like, oh, you know, the guys. We're no better than Lena. <laughs> I know. I All was right. thinking that when they were going over it. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna die soon, guys. <laughs> All right, we're gonna leave with that. So that's gonna be eighty-six for the week. We'll see who else gets to die later on. Move on to our next show.